Okay, let's just uh, check my pareidolia here real quick. Let's start with the pareidolia that looks like an imprint of a snake between Antarctica and South America. It's pareidolia. I'm seeing what I want to see. Right? Look at how the tips of South America and Antarctica line up. Let's take another look at my pareidolia. Because this doesn't look like a face. It's pareidolia. The nose, cranium, eye sockets, all just happen to be positioned accordingly. Kind of like he's tilted, facing his right, whatever. And this isn't the top of his cranium. With the imprint of brain matter on it placed exactly where it would be if it was the top of his cranium. Let's check some more pareidolia. Because I'm seeing what I want to see, right? You fucktards. My pareidolia shows grotesque fucking... What is this thing? 200 kilometers? 300 kilometer long? Fucking lobster shell tortoise looking thing? Huh? Pareidolia shoulder muscles. Pareidolia, you fucks. Fuck you. Pareidolia, huh? There's the nose. There's the eye socket area. The jaw, the bottom jaw, throat, the esophagus, pareidolia, the spine, vertebrae, broke apart in pieces, this thing shifted, obviously, pareidolia, its digestive tract. Obviously, it's been broke off. The rest of its probably stomach probably got unfolded as cross sections. Why don't they do a, a fucking test? They have done tests. It's, it, you know what the tests say? It's, it's fucking rocks. Billions of years of volcanic pressure. Pareidolia. Huh? Let's take some more looks at my pareidolia. <clears throat> Dragon head imprint. Here's the eye. Pareidolia. Rods and cones and the pupil of the eye. You, you, you know your anatomy? You wanna you wanna boogle it? You fucks. Guy had pareidolia. Huh? Here's connective tissue, this black stuff right here, this connective tissue that connects the uh, eye to the brain. Here's part of the nerve tissue, the red. In the corner of your eye, pareidolia, pareidolia, <coughs> pareidolia. Oh yeah, how big is the eye? It's a big fucking eye. 
It's actually a little smaller than five kilometers. I'm off to the side here. It's more like 3.75 kilometers. It's massive. Huh? Pareidolia. That's the head. Blown out of the body of a massive serpent. All right. Unfolded in cross sections. This is a bunch of damage to the top of it. Pareidolia. Seeing what I wanted. You think I fucking wanted to see this? Here's its tail. It's a shoreline. It's pareidolia. You fucktards. Spines. Huh, you guys really want to see me? You really, you're, you're going to do nothing but deny this. Call me a fool. That's all you got. That's all you can do. Because you're scared fuckless of it. You fucking pussies. Fuck you. Dog anus looking motherfuckers. See me in person. You anywhere near Minnesota? Fuck you. Huh? What the fuck does this look like? You think I'm fucking stupid? These are bones. Serpent. Fucking bones. This shit. That skin unrolled off. What's my altitude? 176 kilometers? Yeah, this is Google Earth digital rendering. Made of strip data, long exposed, high altitude shots. Digitally rendered. Accurate pictures. Digitally rendered. By ridiculous servers, I respect the fuck out of Google Earth. However they did this is amazing. But it's still flat as fuck. I don't, I don't give a fuck what any of you guys say. You got no proof. You got no proof of, of curvature. Not even close. This shit should have went away a long time ago, but you guys got no proof. Alright, here's the here's the underside of the, the top layer of skin. Nerves, veins are... Peculiar with the red and blue, just like our veins. Just like veins. Just like anatomy. Pareidolia. Pareidolia. Ding, 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 ding. Fight the flat earth. F fucking. <laughs> Go fight a dog anus, you fucking weirdo. See me in person. See me in person. Let's get back to the head of this thing. It's like. It's like. It's like a head. Blown out of a head, blown out of a head. It's how this thing, it's how the land got distributed after this thing fell. Oops. Come on, get out of there. Dropping pins. Okay, here's the head again. It's like the back horn side profile. We'll go up to North America and take a closer look at the imprint that this thing left in North America. So if that's the head, that's the, we're looking at the top of the jaw. Veins are the rivers. All right. The closer you get, the you know the more confusing it is to look at. But you know, this is where the the nasal pathway would be. So that's like a nasal nerve. And this is skin ripped off the top of it. But hedgewise, you ask, what could possibly do this and and leave such damage on such a massive creature on such a massive scale? Pareidolia, it looks like splattered skin to me. Pareidolia, I don't give a fuck. You fucking nutsacks. So what, what What? does damage like that? Something ripped into this. Also, right here. Almost looks like talons. What would attack a snake? This thing is... I've measured it a bunch. It's like 2,100 miles, 4,400 kilometers, something like that. 2,000 miles from from tail, bow to stern, tail to head. All right. Here's its uh, uh, urinary tract, I guess it would be. This line right here leading up to it splits off. Split, split, splits. Those are kidney plug nodes i got i've been to the body worlds exhibit i got the book this is exactly what kidneys look like when they're removed and plasticized for the body worlds body worlds came to new york to, went to the smithsonian and, and came to st paul minnesota to the science museum i saw that shit years ago i got the book this is what it looks like 
those are kidneys and if you measure it these things come back and fold up and run up the, the back side of this and plug in i believe right there urinary tract bile duct oh what's that it's a bile duct the fuck is this is a it's like a salt desert but it's a bile duct salt desert gold white yes bile duct that's there you go 10 kilometers over bammers all right so what what did all this damage you say well let's just go a little further south here and look at some more of my pareidolia you fucks pareidolia that don't look like a bird beak does it no it's para fucking dolia you pansy pussy fucking soda drinking sausage party dog anus looking motherfuckers fuck you <laughs> you don't want to see me Let's see where where am I? Am I measuring? Okay, yep. Sixty six kilometer uh, bird beak with feathers protruding off it. Obviously, you fuckers didn't watch my videos, you know, because you'd have half a clue, and you'd be asking me questions rather than talking shit. You fucking pansies, fuck you. There's the body of it. There's feathers coming out. It's like on its back. Here's the legs. Talons. Talons. Holding on to something right there. It's the top of that fucking serpent's head. Yeah, it's obscure. But it's there. It is what it is. And these are feathers everywhere. You know. Singed feathers. Huh? Pareidolia? Fuck you fucking pansies. Pareidolia? These are feathers. Look at them. Look at them. Proportionate to the beak at that. Proportionate. Why? How could this be? Because it is what it is. Yup, la layered feathers, different colors. We got the whites layered on top of the brown slash reds. Pareidolia? I don't think pareidolia even comes close to touching this, you fucks. Huh? Huh? You guys want to see me again? Well, I'll, I'll, I'll be back. Feathers. Feathers. Mountaintops? Yes, feathers. Feathers are made of strong protein material it's, it's strong shit when it uh when it hardens when it uh fossilizes or whatever hmm those, those imprints in those mountains look awfully peculiar we're only at eight kilometers altitude feather wing let me pull out again There's the beak. I kind of missed it drawing with my finger here. Here's the wing coming out. There's the body. Feathers. Little bird legs. Talons. The other wing going out. Measure it. Go look at an eagle. And, and this shit is... This wing... Is proportionate to the size of that beak. <laughs> you guys got nothing on me. Not a fucking thing. You see the imprint of the dragon head? Huh? Now let's go look at North America. Because all this just folds right up and connects right in. There's more imprints of that phoenix. Bird, whatever. Here's its head. Missing a beak. Imagine that. Feathers imprint cataclysm this is just like the outer layer of this bird just just its feathers the rest of it is in south america it got swirled out you know here's more imprints of it the the, the land must have been rolled up or something 
Why does that look like that? It looks like the ground is tattooed, but it's not. It's imprints of a phoenix, of, of its feathers, the pigments in it. Why would it be orange? Here's the outer layer of its of the thing's face. That's where the throat would have connected to the back of the skull. And all that stuff around it is flaps of the head. All this. Cross-sected out. All that is scales and skin of a serpent. Suffering suck attack from spitting all over my screen. Whatever. Go ahead and measure it, man. This is from here to roughly there is, is before that point right there. Forty-one twenty-two. We'll do the same type of line. On this beast right here. Because it's in cross sections. Yeah, I'm kind of off on the tail there. But it'll measure out. You know, there's the tip. Yeah, right, bam. There's the tip of its head. Close enough. Within 100. So I'm not quite to the tip of the nose. But I'm kind of kind of off in the water back here on the tail to compensate for it. Whatever, you get the point. 4,000 kilometers. And it all folds up and fits. With imprints of the same creatures, north and south. And here's a midpoint. Here's, like, connective tissue to, to separate into the tropics. Same kind of stuff coming from Antarctica. Around the snake head. That, the, the, whatever being separated the land masses, I would say, looks something like a giant fucking snake. But uh, it's pareidolia, you fucking pussies claim. You fucking pussies. <laughs> you don't think I've been through this trying to show my loved ones? Shit, I've been through hell and back trying to show people this. It is what it is. It is what it is. Here. Here, 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 here. Look, 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 motherfuckers. It's a big ass feather encased in the ice in the edge of Antarctica. Here's the top of that thing's beak. Right here. With a almost human looking thing. Watch as I get close. I've looked at this a million times. Watch when I draw back. That's a beak. This is a beak. Up in here. Here's a half a bird skull. Part of a half a bird skull. Here's the other half of the part of the bird skull. With the imprint of the brain and the fucking the shit left you're looking at the inside of a skull. Anyone found a skull in the woods, you know what it looks like. It's porous. Shoulder thing right here that supports the wing. Here's the other wing. I've measured this. It seems like it's huge, but it's proportionate. And it's also done into cross sections. Okay, it's, it's right on the edge. And it lines up perfectly as if it was unfolded and unfolded and unfurled and unraveled and uncoiled and was once lined up right up in there. So what have we learned so far? We got a fucking giant bird. Pareidolia? That don't look like a bird beak to you? Nope. Nope. That's why you're fucking you're stupid. You're delusional. The fuck right out of town. That don't look like a bird proportionate with a body and feathers and color and talons. 
Everything's there. This is not pareidolia. This is not pareidolia. Believe me. I had to make sure with myself that I was seeing what I'm seeing, and it is what it is. Fight the flat earth. Fight the flat earth, you professional nerd. Fuck you. You're out of here. Fuck you, dude. Okay, let's, let's take a look at a couple more of the things that I found that you cannot rationalize. Okay? The fuck does that look like? We're in China. Yeah, that's a, that, that's a serpent eye. Do you see it? Here, let me highlight it for you, you fucking pansies. Kind of comes to a point right there. Do you see it? And it's, and it's in cross sections. So right here, it got on all this stuff got unfolded. It was attached to all this, and this is like the inside of the outermost layer of the eye. So it, it if it would have built. If you build the eye back, it's going to get smaller as you go. This this doesn't look like it. it might could possibly be tissue tissue that got petrified and turned into the land in the mountains. That that don't look like it might could possibly be skin with muscle tissue veins and arteries running through it. Might could possibly no no pareidolia. Nope, it, I, I'm fucking batshit right. These are all cross sections of the fish that's getting eaten by this dragon. Right here, you gotta turn the map upside down. Looking like a pike. Eye socket. Remove flesh. Here's the here's the remainder of it. There's the eye, the eye of the Sahara. You zoom in. That is an eye. It's not bubbles in the mud. That's not bubbles, that's an eye. That's an eye. With connective veins and nerves and muscle tissue. Arteries, red and blue, all the way around it. That is a fucking eye. That is a massive fish eye. And we're looking at the inside of it. That's not the outside. Connected to the flesh. All this is folds of skin. That when you follow the drag marks of the skin... Fits right back up perfectly, perfectly right there. Adjacent eye socket with veins that were once holding an eye. You fucks. Fuck you, pareidolia. Pareidolia. Suck my pareidolia. Suck my fish. Suck my fish eye. <laughs> you busters. You dog anus looking fucking pansies. All right. I, and I believe this is the serpent right here. This thing. Roger says uh, that it was breathing some kind of acidic compound on the fish. I think it was feeding on it. <laughs> I think these are bite marks into the flesh of this fish. Fishy flesh, fishy flesh, fishy flesh. Blah, blah, blah. And whatever process, whatever fucking cataclysm happened, flattened the serpent and, and unrolled him into the cross sections. And I believe this is bile, regurgitated bile of the fish kind of spilling back onto it where it was once feeding on the body of this massive fish. That don't, might, could, possibly, maybe, ain't not gonna look like a fish, huh? That possible that, that don't possibly look, it might, it maybe could, you guys can't admit it, maybe could look like the flesh of a fish, decayed sitting in the desert that got petrified. Here's more of it, flesh torn off. Here's the back fin. Look at the imprints in the fucking desert. 82 kilometers. Okay, so you get you realize your field of view. We're at 278 kilometers altitude. That is an imprint of the back fin. Pareidolia? I don't think pareidolia lines sh shit up perfectly. What with fish and eyes and flesh and decay. Okay, you, you, you fuckers couldn't acknowledge this, that is the side cross section of a dragon, like a motherfucker, you let me draw it in, we're looking at the inside of his cheek and his jaw, those are the little teeth right there, is a part of the eye socket, I believe, 
top of the cranium, snout looking like a donkey face, lips, bottom lip, jaw would open up like a horse, it looks kind of like a horse, and it, and it got ro rolled up and, and unrolled, you know, like it, it had to get it had to get left in this condition if it is what I'm saying it is, which it is. Okay, here's the front of it. The, the snout, like the front of its uh, lip or whatever, right in there. And it all got peeled off that way. It's all its skin and runoff. Okay, I didn't, I didn't discover this. Roger from Mud Fossils University did. But he doesn't quite know what he's looking at. This thing is split down the middle. This is like this is like a snake, a giant snake, a serpent, a dragon. Cut down the middle. Those are scales and runoff. And blood and decay. You damn right. And this is more of its connective tissue. Veins, arteries, muscles. I mean, hold on. I know I found this thing's lungs before. I don't know. Look at my previous videos. I find this all this thing's organs. Here's like the top layer of its scales and skin. Yes, all this is one dragon that was about that big, and it got pulled off into cross sections, unrolled after being compressed. There's more imprints of it as you go down. Huh? Rationalize this. You guys can talk shit and fucking look at dog anuses, but this shape is repeated all the way down. It got butterflied out, so it's like, it gets unfolded, and then unfolded. And then that folds into two more folds that, that go out, and, and then they each unfold, and it goes all the way around. It's, you, you, you gotta allow your eyes to see it. Here's your fish, here's your, uh, whatever, cross sections of the fish right there. And this, all this, all this stuff is bile. The same bile, the same matter that's coming out of the thing's mouth. Because it got compressed as it was feeding on it and it regurgitated this acidic stomach acid and singed the land and whatever and it all ran off so then we go to the bottom of Africa and look at what I found you know about last October I mean just a just look at the colors but here's the thing skull cross-sected out There's the eye. Front of the snout. There's a lot going on up above the front of its snout. They're mountains. You, you, you carbon date them, you're going to get... You're going to get the expected results of testing rocks in the mountains. But something scribbled through here. And displaced all this land, all this once organic matter. And it's this guy right here. This is Pac Hall. Ancient aliens call him the, the, the UFO, the, the, the rocket man. Side profile with the same deal coming out of his nose. Come on. There's his nose. There's the, the, so he's generating like a field. 
from inside his body, coming out of his nose, you know, that's where his brain would be, and he's riding this apparatus, and you can see how it peeled out right there. So he's above it, and he's got this you know, dimensional vehicle that's able to manipulate the land and leave imprints of himself with the land. And you can kind of see the path that he took. You know, as he, I think he came through, blasted through, goes up in there, eventually comes down the coast. Swirls it around. <clears throat> Does like a pinwheel. Same same stuff up in here. It's the same process. It's like there's a center point. And I have a piece of ammonite on my shelf that shows this exact same exact same uh, geometric layout where there's like a center point and everything blows out from a center point. You know? This was all once uh, an organic creature. That now lay, lays is our land. Alright. So take note of. I call it the runway right here. Almost looks like teeth. Take note of that. Because. There's going to be a pop quiz. Right now when I go look at Australia. And the same imprint. Of that is right there and it's also it's repeated and I, I have pieces of this printed out and I assure you you measure it you know it's not going to do much justice right now you got to really get precise but whatever 1600 kilometers you know try to measure about the same point I guess I could have went higher, but whatever. So there's your 1,600 kilometers. Either way, that all lines up. We'll go from right here. There's your 16, roughly. Go back over to... So I think all all this right here was folded up, and, and it all came off. Look at the colors. It all came off of Africa being sandwiched on. All, got, all was rolled up. Notice the green down the middle, the desert on the edges. Don't forget the big giant fucking eye in China. And if you don't think... It might possibly could be a giant serpent. Then you haven't been looking close enough. Okay. Right there to right there. Look at the symmetry and then everything's attached. Because this is like the inside of... These are like the eye sockets. The outside of the eyes. We're looking at the inside of this creature. So the, the exterior is... Underneath, we'll never actually see it. Because <laughs> North Pole was the egg where these things hatched. These are all chunks of eggshells. These things lived and died. Their spirits still inhabit where they lived. Paradolia? Parafucandolia? I don't think so. Here, I'll, I'll show you some Paradolia. We go back over here to the South American serpent. We take. Screenshot. Bring that to the old mirror lab.
put it together. You get what you see. Fits up to be the perfect serpent. Pareidolia. Some awfully coincidental pareidolia here, guys. Cross sections. So all this would... It, it's, it's reflected and mirrored. So it's mirrored from this perspective, left to right. And it's reflected up and down. You can chalk it up to coincidence all the fuck you want, but don't make it so. greatest view here. Yep, there you go. Inside out of a dragon. Inside out view of dragon anatomy. So... So all this stuff, dang it, all this stuff out here is the outside of the face would fold up, make the head, make the face. And of course, as soon as you take a screenshot and zoom in on Google Earth images, it blurs out, so whatever. There you go, pareidolia.